Good morning, world. Um, it is Thursday, April 9th. A bird just hit the window. Today, I'm going to be doing a day in the life of a biology major. And this is, I guess, part two of my history one. And I guess people really like to see what I do um, as a history major, but I'm also a bio major. Anyway, I'm going to finish getting ready, making my bed and cleaning up, and then I'm going to go downstairs and make some breakfast. So I just went through and I figured out everything that I need to do today. Today, I have a ton of stuff to do for sciences. Um, I have to do my bio lab. I'm going to take my chemistry notes, do my chemistry homework, and then do my biology notes because my chemistry homework is due tomorrow as well as my bio lab. Um, but I feel like I need, I need my chemistry notes in order to do my homework because I need to like learn the material. Um, then I have to find a discussion topic for biology and I need to turn in my science lab notebook that I have so far. So we're going to be doing this experiment first. I need to figure out what I can include in my experiment. So we're going to look through the spice cabinet. So for this experiment, we are going to be testing the effects of the different types of sugar on yeast because this is all I could find. I need to find all of my materials, so I'm going to grab all of the measurement spoons. Powder sugar. It would be a waste to just throw out all the water and then put it all like back into the thing, so I'm going to find a way to save the water. This is how I have everything laid out. I have this here with me. I have control, treatment one, treatment two, treatment three, tablespoons, balloons, this is the yeast that we're going to be using and my funnel for my water. We made a huge mess. It took me a while, but I have this tray, so I decided to pour the sugar over this tray so it'd be easier to clean up. I had a big fight with the powdered sugar and that took forever to get in there. We have our granulated sugar, powdered, the sugarless sugar. It's a little bit chunky. And then we have our coconut sugar. There's just a little bit of water in there, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem because all of them have a little bit of water in there, I guess. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a funnel with the paper like I did earlier, but we're gonna tape it so that it's a little bit sturdier. And then we, are going to measure this out. That yeast went everywhere. Right, so we are nearly at three minutes um, left with this experiment, and this is what it looks like so far. I feel like this one, we probably didn't get enough yeast or something in it. I'm not too sure, but. Okay, so I can see that my professor is on our Moodle page right now, and I kind of don't want to turn this in while she's on it, but I'm going to have to. Okay, so that took me a really long time. It's about 2 o'clock now. So technically, I am working right now, but I am the Converse College Admission Social Media Intern, meaning I run this entire page. Um, I just fixed up our bio. And I just posted this photo talking about the city of Spartanburg, but definitely go and check this page out. I work very hard on it. Um, everything from this post up is what I have posted, so go check it out. I am done eating lunch. I had a tuna sandwich and a half, some popcorn, and I made 
a ice matcha latte because I am in withdrawal from not being at or not being in Spartanburg and at their golf shops. And this little one keeps bothering me because I have my sandwich there. We'll give her a piece of bread. But anyway, I am going to take some chemistry notes now that I have time to. It is three o'clock. And what alcohol would I need to, to mix up in the presence of an acid? I have a headache. <laughs> so I turned in everything that needs to be turned in by this week. So I did my chemistry homework. I did my bio lab. I turned in my bio notebook, which isn't supposed to be turned in until next week, but I did that. I got that out of the way. I also finished my bio lab discussion, which was due tomorrow. I got that out of out of the way ahead of time. So for my bio discussion, I talked about how scientists at MIT have been turning the coronavirus structure into musical notes and to different melodies. And so they're able to listen and look at the music to study the structure and try and find that like one spike that'll help prevent the actual virus from infecting the cell, um, which I think is really cool. Um, I didn't know there was an actual intersection at music and science, so I kind of talked about that. Um, but I also mentioned that like that's such a like niche research method. Like I don't know if it's the most convenient method because of how many people there probably may not be to conduct this research or type of research, I don't know. But I am done with school stuff for today. I am just so tired of looking at my computer and seeing chemistry and biology all day. So I am going to end the vlog here. I'm glad I was able to do a history vlog in person, like at school, but I kind of want to do another history version um, in quarantine, but I only have one history class and all I do is read and write essays. So maybe I can do like a reading vlog, but also like a day in the life of a history student reading vlog. I don't know, but we'll see. I'll try and get creative with it. I'm just going to work on this puzzle and talk to some friends for the rest of the day. Anyway, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and have a great week, everyone. Bye.